Nearly there. Racing. Out on a good line here. Straight to the top here goes Unconscionable and puts three links on them. You know Jason and Minder. Then on the outside, then of Wong Box got into trouble. Getting around the outside of those then is Eskimo Chill and Homebush Stormy. And uh, further back behind those to Eskimo Chill. The rest of history. It is Unconscionable. Minder, Unconscionable. Too good. Is going to beat home Minder. Third's going to go to Sergio Star. Actually, he's in a photo for second too, that guy. Uh, behind those came Homebush Stormy and Starry Baxter next to arrive. Back behind those two, uh, Wong Box was never in the race. So, you know, Jason, well back with Eskimo Chill. Racing, feel the way. Rookie racer from one best out, leads by two early. Coming forward as Opawa Millie on the outside, quickly whips around the outside. Lucky Sunday goes forward. In behind those, then, oh, Ghost Gus got Polax back to last. Uh, back there with it is Light Thor, Wymax Chef, as they are about to turn the corner for home, and Opawa Millie is off and gone here. Trendy Blake heads the chase after it. Opawa Millie's going to bolt in. Trendy Blake will be second. Third over is Lucky Sunday. Uh, then came Wymax Chef, and over the outside to Ghost. Uh, then came uh, Opawa Sledge back behind those rookie racer and light four are the last two. Subterfuge one. Heady there. Racing. Out in a good line. Uh, subterfuge on the inside. Chill out. Rage has the lead. Idle Star goes with it. Then subterfuge on the inside. Favourite smash. The X smash. Next making sort of leeway. Super Stevie burst through on the inside. Uh, back behind those then to definite. And well back on the turn here is subterfuge. They turn and go. And Super Stevie's off and gone. Uh, Super Stevie from Idle Star, who's in a photo with Smash the X Smash. Back behind those then is Prince D Money. A bit of a gap away then to definite behind those. And the last two are Fear Marina and Subterfuge. And pulling up a long way from them was a chill out, Rach, and a bit of bother. there racing come out in a pretty much a perfect line here todd blue blood on the inside immediately headed by barony cold who heads for the leader round the outside comes theseus then poking up between runners no bias comes off heels goes out four wide back behind those then is freckle flyer thrilling shrimp and home bush flame barony cold hard to catch out wide theseus putting in a big run and todd blue blood in the middle barony cold uh todd blue blood theseus freckle flyer Behind those came No Bias, uh, Thrilling Shrimp on the outside, and Homebush Flamers, the last one to go by. Racing, O'Power Crusade, best out, going out with it, Homebush, Sloan and over the outside, Hilton open, uh, favourites back to third, Paddy the Baker next and over the outside, LB McLeod, underneath those then is uh, Homebush Bailey, and back behind those two, O'Power Opal and O'Power Idol, they turn the corner, Homebush, Sloan has the lead, uh, out wide on the track is Hilton, o Homebush, Homebush, Sloan uh, is going to score over O'Power Opal, who got through right up on the inside, uh, wider out on the track then was uh, Hilton Open. Big run from Opawa Idol from the back of the field. Uh, right in behind those then, Homebush Bailey. Uh, along with those to Elby McLeod, Paddy the Baker. Opawa Crusade was in that bunch as well. But never really was uh, a winning hope. And Homebush Sloan is.
Nearly there. Racing. Missing it here was uh, No Hassel. Got straight out the back door. Just up ahead of it now is the favourite. They settle down into water here, and Homebush Kelso made the lead. American Warrior charging up on the outside and hits the lead. Into third is Wheelchair Norma. They've gapped the rest in. Fekatoa, No Hassel trying to run on. Homeward bound here. American Warrior two lengths in front. Wheelchair Norm tries hard. American Warrior, Wheelchair Norm, Homebush Kelso, Fekatoa. Then came No Hassel. Southern Lights is back behind those. And the last two were Opawa Norris and Black Crow in the Far South Challenge Final. Racing. Opawa Crystal came out well, so too did 1Z and Homebush Scribe on the outside. A little wider out then is Joey Baxter. Tucked in behind those, then 1Z goes back on the inside. Over the outside of that then is Homebush Shana. Token Ace well back and so is his nibs. They turn the corner. Homebush Scribe on the outside has the lead over Opawa Crystal. Max Sticks late there uh, towards the line. Homebush Scribe. Uh, Max sticks and down on the inside of those then Opawa Crystal might have been nabbed by Joey Baxter back behind those then uh, uh, one Z's towards the back of the field token ace his nibs as well back as well and so uh, Homebush Shane ahead of those Four fifty-seven. Rib curler one. Set racing. Rib curler came out well on the inside up to join it. Bronson Jewel on the outside. Right in behind those then is Dragon Queen along the fence to Kronos. A touch wide about on the track. Uh, trying to get around those then is Broken Penniless and Deborah Bay. And going back to last is Kronos. They're on the swing here. Rib curler turns in first out by a couple. Bronson Jewel is trying hard and Deborah Bay putting a run down the outside but they won't get Rib Curler. Rib Curler gets home. Broken Penny is duck through right on the fence to maybe grab second from Deborah Bay. Uh, right there beside those was uh, Bronson Jewel. Back in behind Bronson Jewel to uh, Miss Blue Sky who was at them late in the piece. Dragon Queen is back behind that and Kronos the last in. Racing. Obeyance came out well. Ozark's watch came out better. Zipping Marlies is wide around the track, powering up to those. And Arcade Sabre charges through the middle. Right there as well is what I like. Uh, over the outside of those is Opawa Wahimo. Back behind the Ozark's watch and Star Apache, the last two. Uh, zipping Marlisa. Homeward bound away by five lengths. The battles for the minor money. Opawa Wahimo and Arcane Sabre, but down to the line goes Zipping Marlisa. Home in second, Arcane Sabre. Third at the line is Opawa Wahimo. Obeyance is back behind those. What I like, uh, along with Star Apache and Ozark's watch last in. there racing little slow away eagle t the best out bottom eel and goes to the lead eagle t drives up on the inside right there shift the blame a little wider out then as opawa binge getting around the outside and has hit the lead in behind those bottom eel and shift the blame the back lot here at john snow lives in no respect as well back and so's patty's pick 
Homeward bound and Eagle T off and gone. Only by two lengths, so Botany Ellen down to the line. Eagle T beats Botany Ellen out wide. Shift the blame might be third. It's in a photo with no neglect. And no power binge who went that far away. Back behind those two, John Snow lives. And uh, Paddy's pick just ahead of that. Racing. Opawa Vel came out well on the inside. Hard questions. Mischief managed goes up to those. Opawa Kevin's back wide out on the track. Driving in the middle is Mina Allen. Now Opawa Kevin. Mina Allen got the chop. Went right out the back door. Uh, no style went back there with it. They turn the corner for home and hard questions in front. Over the outside, uh, two or three lengths away as Opawa Kevin starting to power down the outside. But hard questions hanging on. Hard questions will beat Opawa Vel in the photo with Opawa Kevin. Next to go by Mina Allen, Jesse surfs on the inside, then Amino Trouble, and back behind those, no style and mischief manage, who both got knocked over. Racing, Dinah Quirk, look at Puma Pants, flew out, put two links on them already, running into second, no leaf clover, over the outside, Tickner gets the third, about two links away then to Opawa, lead meet back on the inside as Harkin and Bale and Southern Mist and back behind those then Dinah Quirk and Choke Hold, Puma Pants on the outside has the lead, no leaf clover, tries hard, down to the line, Puma Pants, just I think Tickner had a dig at it. Uh, back behind those then, the wee photos was in a Pavaline meet and no leaf clover. Arriving late then was Harkin and Bale. Uh, back behind those two, uh, Dinah Quirk and a Pavaline meet and chokehold. Race favourite, set, racing. Feel the way Mr. Debit did no leave on the inside. One of the best out is Dan Blue Blood Gold Star Archie Rangers up here and as you move wider. Charging between them is Corborn Ridge here as they race off the back now and scapping them as Pianissimo. Put about six things, five or six on the field. Gold Star Archie comes after that on the outside and back along the inside then is uh, Corborn Ridge. But this is game over. Pianissimo bolts in. Huge go for the minor money here, and it'll be Gold Star Archie for second, third, I've got no idea. There on the inside was Corborn Ridge, Dan Blue Blood was close up, uh, settling uh, just back in behind those then to no leave, never in the race. Uh, Homebush Skipper's back behind those, one of the tail enders to go by, and uh, Spring Sam was back there with it. the trip. Flaming Sambuka inside Ellie the Fight. Nearly there. Racing. Flaming Sambuka the best out by a couple of lengths. Over the outside thrilling spell uh, uh, who drown drifts a bit. Getting past it is uh, Corborn Brandy over the outside. Big catch the inner. Then came Cool Dexter back behind them. Homebush Banker no, no Tinkerbell. And at the back here is thrilling spell uh, in front. Flaming Sambuka. Game over. Flaming Sambuka beats uh, Big Catch out wide. Corborn Brandy was motoring home. Uh, no Tinkerbell was next to go by. Then came Cool Dexter behind those Homebush Banker and Thrilling Spell.
We're set racing out in a pretty even line here. One of the best out, Lagoon Bell. Uh, Driving up underneath it, Storm and Mac, and over the outside, Dibbo didn't slay up. Trying to poke through with Storasic, then came uh, down near the rail on the inside as Opawa Judy. Lucia Star, the outside to the back goes Mandy Jr. and Corborn Waza. Homeward bound here. In front, narrowly Lagoon Bell, but look at Odin Slayer. Odin Slayer over the top. Odin Slayer takes the last over Lagoon Bell, Lucia Star. Then Thoracic and Storm and Mac Opawa, Judy, Mandy Jr. never in the race. And Corborn Wasser was the last one to go by.